Hello, church family. Pastor wants to come to you just for a few moments today and just kind of give you an update as far as where we are as a church body and uh, how we are going to be uh, conducting our services. I, um, when If you were here last Sunday morning, um, you will remember that um, I met with our with my council and our board, and uh, we came out on the platform and uh, we gave you some information concerning service times. But that was when um, President Trump was asking us to um, stay at 500 people or less. Uh, but since then. Uh, it was reduced to 250 people or less, and then down to 50 people or less, and now down to 10 or less. Um, and uh, because of that, uh, Pastor has made some decisions that I want to talk to you about this morning. Um, probably some of the roughest days of my life has been the last four or five days, especially since Sunday morning. Um, it's been some very trying times. I know it's some trying times with you guys. And uh, and we're praying for you and believing that God's going to do His greatest work in your life that He's ever done. But at the same time as me being senior pastor here and my great love that I have for you, um, it's been... It's been some hard decisions that we have had to make. Um, before I go into how we're going to be doing our services, I wanted to tell you how I got here. Um, as I said, since Sunday, it just seems like things has been changing almost daily, or now it's changing, seems like, by the minute. Uh, but... Um, Last night I went over to see my grandkids that I haven't seen in um, several weeks. And I got over there, and I got there about 5 o'clock or so, and uh, got to my house that we have over in Washington County, and um, which is uh, on the border of Holmes County, uh, right there around Bonifay area. And... Uh, when I got there, uh, I shared with my family how torn I was with some of the decisions that I was having to make. And, um, um, and we had dinner together. And um, then uh, later on uh, last night, they all went home about 9.30 or so. And my lady and I was sitting on the couch, and she had... Um, she was looking at Facebook just to catch up on some news, and uh, she ran across this church. Uh, I think it's over in the Washington County area there. And they were having service last night. And as you know, we called our service off. Most churches did. But they were having service last night. And when I looked at them having service, I just remember thinking in my heart and in my mind, that is wrong. That was wrong because especially with uh, the guidelines that's been set out by our president and how that people are doing their share and doing what they can do, which means don't gather in massive crowds or now 50 and then 10 or less. Um, so uh, when I looked at that, um, I just felt that that was wrong. And I hope that pastor changes his uh, mind about what he's, he's going to do with his church because we're all trying to do the best we can with what's happening with uh, this virus. And it's going to take all of us working together, praying, believing, and still standing knowing that God is going to be our healer. God's going to be our way maker, everything else. And, um, but when I saw that, and then when I got up early this morning, I got up around the four o'clock hour, 
and I walked into our living room in our little house over there, and the Spirit of God spoke to me and told me to use what He had given us. And since then, I have come back to the office um, here at the church, and I have made some decisions, and I want to share those decisions with you. Um, but um, before I do, I want to read you a message or interpretation of a message that was given in our AM service this past Sunday. And the pastor was going to be preaching on the day of the plague. And, um, but I, I, I want you to, I want to read this to you. This is what the Lord said to us. He said, For I say unto thee, I am your Lord and you are mine. Yea, those that have walked into my holy place and know this day, not one hair of your head leaves your head that I do not make note of. Not one thought goes through your mind that I do not make aware to me. Not one enemy that rises up against you. I understand and I say it, I will not come, I will not come and allow him to take authority in thy life. For I am thy Lord, I am thy Savior, I am thy healer, I am thy way maker. And I say unto thee this day, as you have entered into my house, I now enter into your life. And I say unto thee, I will wipe thy fevered brow, I will put food on thy table, I will put raiment on thy back, and in me you will know that you are more than a conqueror. For I am thy God, I receive thy worship, and I say unto thee this day, I will watch over thee, that no harm comes unto thee. I say this by the power of the Trinity. And that's what the Lord spoke to us, and it was such an encouraging word to us. And while I'm at this point, I want to ask you to please go back and watch the Sunday morning service and the Sunday night service as I brought the message the day of the plague, but God is still good. And just go back and watch those two services and let it touch your heart. But here's what I need to tell you today. For the next two Sundays, at least, we're not going to be having corporate worship as far as gathering together in the sanctuary. And the reason we not is that we want to do our part. We, we want to we wanna be um, good stewards over uh, those that the Lord has brought to us as a church body. And we do not love the ministry more than we love the people. So for the ministry's sake, I'm not going to draw you in here and say that we're going to have a gathering of all the people into the tabernacle. And the reason I'm not going to have that is because I love you more than I love the ministry. And today I'm announcing to you that for the next two Sundays at least, we will not be having uh, morning worship here or evening worship here in our sanctuary. However, uh, this coming Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, we want you to gather around your television set or, or your computer or ever how you watch a live stream. And we're going to be live streaming. We're going to be having praise and worship. You're going to be hearing from Brother Danny Spicer, our uh, kids' church minister. You're going to be hearing from Sister Ray Ray. Uh, you're going to be hearing from Pastor Jesse, and you're going to be hearing from my lady. And then I am going to bring the message, and um, and we're you're going to be able to worship and have service right where you at because you are the church. You are the church. We thank God for the building, but you're the church. So. Today, I, I want to openly ask you to please um, just go to your um, whatever device you use to watch the live stream on. We will be live streaming uh, and on, we'll be live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so go to those places at 10 o'clock. 
and your church ministry will be there and we'll be speaking to you. We'll be, we'll be speaking to you. And um, we're just going to have service together, but we're going to do it in a different way. These are unprecedented times. I've never seen anything like this, and I have been in the ministry a very long time. And, uh, but, I, but I want you to understand today, you are the church, and I think it's really time for the church to be the church. I believe there'll come a time soon that we'll all be coming back to the sanctuary. The Spirit of God's always, already given me what to preach when we come back and gather together in fellowship, and I, I understand that. But um, I want to just ask you, over the next uh, several days, be praying for us, uh, and we will be praying for you. Uh, and I also want to say that on Sunday morning, our prayer lines here at the church are going to be open. We're going to have three prayer lines here that as you watch um, uh, our, our service and be part of our service. If you have a need, we want you to call in at that time right then. And um, we're going to have three of our ministers on telephones that's going to be answering the phones, and they will pray with you. And it doesn't matter what the need may be. If you're sick in your body or if you need an encouraging prayer prayed over you, if you just need to be lifted up and uh, you want to talk to one of our ministers, they will be manning the phones. And, uh, and we'll have those numbers up there for you to look at and call in. But um, I want you to know that your pastor loves you. I want you to know that I have no fear. I, I do not fear anything about this virus. I take this that the Lord spoke to us Sunday, and uh, he told us he'd wipe our fevered brow, put food on our table, raiment on our back, and, uh, and he said that no harm would come to us. And we thank God for this. And I say again, this has not been an easy decision for me, but I feel due to us wanting to be a good witness in the community and us wanting to do the right thing, then I have decided to have church this way. So I believe that God's going to do great things through this. I'm asking that God will uh, stir even our hearts uh, about the church uh, you've heard pastors say that you don't know how precious something is till you don't have it anymore. So we're not going to be able to gather together for several services. And I'm believing that once we do come back, should the Lord tarry this long, that long, once we do come back, maybe the next time we feel a little like, um, you know, I, I just think I'm too tired. I won't go to worship today. Maybe our attitude about that will change a little bit. Maybe we'll have a greater desire to be in the house of God than ever before. God bless you. We love you. And uh, just remember uh, that this coming Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, your ministry is going to be presenting ministry to you, and we're going to worship the Lord together just in a different way. Okay? God bless you. We love you. Talk to you soon.